Google launches Gemini business plan and also adds Gemini AI into the performance max campaigns. WhatsApp announces the addition of new formatting options inside WhatsApp, including lists and block quotes. Nvidia, the popular chip maker, announces the launch of their own AI chatbot that runs locally on PCs. More details about these three and the other top news items of the week coming up in this 229th weekly episode of The Connected Church News with me, Nachi Lazarus. Welcome. This is the show that brings you the top five digital social media emerging tech and AI news that you need to know for this week in just five minutes. Let's get started. Google made a couple of important announcements related to AI. First is they are bringing Gemini into Google Workspace. Google Workspace, which includes Gmail, Google Docs, Sheets, and all of it that you are probably used to, will be getting Gemini AI built into it. You can opt in using new paid plans called Gemini Business Plans, and uh, you can either go for an enterprise version or a regular version. Pass this information on to your administrative team. The second big news is about Google building Gemini AI into Performance Max ad campaigns. If you've been running this Performance Max ad campaigns, you will now start seeing Gemini coming in to help you with creating text assets and also image assets. They are building their powerful Image Gen 2 model into this an important information that your ministry advertising team needs to know. We will link to all the details in the show notes. Instagram is expanding its creator marketplace tool to additional regions outside the US. They originally launched this in 2022 and now after testing and so on, they've started rolling it out to other regions. This is a tool that helps brands and creators connect with each other and run branding campaigns on Instagram. So let's say you're an organization that's looking for a creator. Let's say you're running an event or a new launch that requires influencer marketing. Also a new announcement that has come from Meta where they have built in machine language to recommend the right kind of creator for your organization. Based on certain criteria, the tool will match the right kind of creator with your organization. It could be quite useful the countries that are getting this new tool include Canada, Australia, India, Japan, and a few others. We will link to the whole list of countries in the show notes. NVIDIA, the leading chip maker, has announced that they are launching their own AI chatbot that will run locally on a PC based on the input that you feed in. For example, you can give YouTube videos, you can give documents and PDFs and so on. Based on whatever you give as input, the AI chatbot tool will give you interpreted or analyzed versions of output. An interesting use case when it comes to AI, where you have everything local on your computer. So if you are a ministry or an organization that's concerned about privacy of your data on AI, then this is a model that you could look at. If you are wondering why I'm talking about this NVIDIA and what they do, they are the leading chip makers that power most of servers that run AI algorithms. They are so big that their market cap just a few days ago overtook the market capitalization of Google and Amazon. This week's news episode is brought to you by Connected Church Academy. Connected Church Academy is an education hub exclusively for the faith-based community. So if you are a non-profit church or ministry looking to equip your team on digital, social media, AI, and tech stuff for media ministry, then this is a resource hub that could be useful for you. Do check it out. You can visit cca.live for more details. That is the webpage cca.live. We will also link to it in the description of wherever you're listening to me. X announced that they are launching audio and video call facility to non-paying users. This audio video call is already available to premium paid subscribers, but now they're rolling it to everyone. Now, this is not a totally unique feature in the industry because apps like WhatsApp and Messenger have had audio video call features for a very long time. But if you are a nonprofit or ministry that uses X platform for customer service, then this becomes significant for you because offering customer support through an audio or video call might make it operationally easier for your media. 
media team. So if that is the case, then pass this information on to your media team. WhatsApp has announced that they are launching new text formatting options inside the app. So if you are an organization that uses WhatsApp for ministry, whether it is internal communication or external communication, I know many of you use WhatsApp for inter-regional communication. Whatever is the case, this is an important announcement for you because sometimes having these formatting options can help you communicate your ideas a little more clearly. For example, the new formatting options that they have introduced include bulleted list, which could be super useful, numbered list, block quote and inline quote. Apart from that, you already have the existing formatting options, which is bold, italic, strike through, monospace and all of it. So pass this information on to your communications team so that they can start thinking about how to restructure your WhatsApp messages using these new formatting tools. If you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, I'm going to ask you why not? Because you get the top five news delivered to you every single week, especially curated for leaders and media teams of nonprofit churches and ministries. So go ahead and subscribe. I will see you next week.